everybody. I have a Candles by Victoria haul for you today. And this was an order placed, uh, I think, April 1st. She was having a little, like, three-day sale, kind of like a spring Easter sale. And it was 15% off if you placed an order, I think it was three days, um, during that time period. And <clears throat> what else? I know she had a contest going on, like an Easter egg contest. Sadly, I didn't get an Easter egg, but that's okay. Um, I really, really love the candles and scent shots I got this time. So I have a bunch of stuff to show you, so I'm going to start now. So the first thing I want to show you is I got a new uh, tart warmer. And I have one already. I just wanted an, another one just for another room or whatever. And uh, this one I got in the blue color. It's very nice. I really like these. They come with a little um, switch right here. You just flick it on and off. Uh, these have the light to indicate when it's on, if it's plugged up, obviously. And then this comes off. You can pop your tart in here. Usually I do either a half of a tart or, or a scent shot or um, sometimes a fourth. I don't usually burn the whole thing at once. And you just melt it in there. This too, oops, this can be used just as a candle warmer. If you just put an actual candle like in the jar on here, it'll melt all the wax in the candle. I don't usually use it that way. I usually just use it as a scent shot burner. But anyhow, um, I'll also tell you, because I know a lot of people ask me this, how I get the actual wax out of this uh, bowl thing once I'm done burning that particular scent. What I do is I let it dry, I let it harden, the wax, and then usually I pop this in the freezer. It really doesn't take a long time, maybe 10-15 minutes, and then I take a butter knife and I kind of just chip at the side and usually the whole thing will pop right out. So you don't have to like do anything extreme to get your tarts out of here. Just stick this in the freezer and then pop it out. So that's my method. So that's the first thing I got. Now I will jump into all the fun scents I got. So she had a ton of new scents for the spring, and I tried most of them. I think there were only a couple that I didn't order. Uh, the first thing that I did order was the six, what is it, the No Frills six cent uh, candle sampler, and I think these are the eight ounces. So the first scent that I got is called Cocoa Lime Cooler. This very, very pretty, like, green color. I love the colors of these candles. And this one, this one's kind of lighter than I was anticipating, but it's very nice. It's, I'd say it's not, not a strong lime scent, which is good. I don't love, like, a, a very harsh lime scent. Um, kind of coconutty, like I would expect. And this one almost has a uh, musky scent to it, but I like it. It's definitely a nice, just kind of like faint tropical scent. So next one I have is Whiskey Sour. This is one of her new ones. This smells so good, and a few people have commented that this smells kind of like an eggnog scent. I don't really take... I don't, I don't drink eggnog during the holidays, honestly, so I can't really vouch for that, but to me it's a kind of spicy, creamy scent, which isn't really what I would think that a whiskey sour would smell like, but I don't know, it's really good, and some people said they smell a sour scent in this. I don't on cold throw, but I bet when I burn it, it's going to come out more. So I really, really do like this scent. All right, next one I have is Spring Dippity. This one I burned today. I really like this. This is like a totally spring scent. It's, I think the description is like berries and, oh, I don't remember. Something, <laughs> I can't remember. But basically it is berries and then kind of just a really fresh scent. Um, yeah, it just smells like spring berries to me. Very, very nice. And the color is beautiful. Alright, next one is... 
this one is new white nectarine and pink coral very pretty pink candle this one is so good and it smells like something and I can't put my finger on what it is I think it smells like but this is such a this is a very unique scent I, I really haven't had any candle of hers that smelled anything like this it's I guess the only way I can describe it is a nectarine scent. It's just like a kind of fruity scent, but very juicy. And then I don't know what the pink coral is supposed to smell like, but it's just, it's, it's, it's like, it's like a girly scent. It's sweet and, and bright and, and juicy and yummy. And I don't know. Very, very good though. If you are into very girly, feminine, sweet scents you'll love this all right next one is this too is a new scent this is oatmeal milk and honey and this is supposed to smell like kind of the generic smell that a lot of bath products have that are like that oatmeal and honey and milk scent and truth be told i think this smells better than that like i honestly don't love the way some lotions smell when they have that scent this smells like, ah, I wish I could describe it. It smells like the three things, the oatmeal and the milk and the honey, but it's, it's so much fresher. Like it smells kind of like, like all those things, but very fresh, not, not like a fake scent and not powdery. You know how sometimes lotions smell powdery? This doesn't have a note of powder in it, which I love. It's just very, very relaxing and very soft and sweet and I absolutely love the scent all right last candle in my six pack this one is called exotic this is one of her new scents the color of this is absolutely beautiful it's like this teal green blue I love it it's so pretty anyhow this one is really hard to describe too it's it's absolutely delicious whatever it is it's it's tropical and it's, I don't know, it's such a complex scent. It's, it's musky, but not really. And then it's tropical and then it's sweet. And I don't know, this one you really need to try. I don't see anybody not liking the scent, especially if you like kind of tropical. It's not like a heavy fruit scent, but just it just makes me think of being outside on a beach somewhere. Just, I don't know. <laughs> just absolutely love this one. All right. I also got two other candles. I got the um, mini jelly jar. I think this is, oh shoot. I don't know how many ounces this is, but this is the little bitty one. And this is in the scent uh, Cotton Candy. And to be honest, this is a very light scent. Um, it smells like cotton candy. It's kind of sugary and sweet. And the color is really pretty. I'm hoping when I burn it, the scent will kind of come out more because it really is just a very faint scent. But not bad. It's just one of her lighter ones. And then finally for candles, I ordered... This is called Strawberry Angel Food Cake. And it's so pretty. I hope you can see. The top layer is pink. And then it drips down into a white. So I'm guessing that this is the angel food cake uh, scent. And then this is the strawberry scent on top. If I can get it open. <laughs> it's so good. It's, it's definitely... It is that kind of artificially strawberry scent. Which I'm not a huge fan of. But... I know once I burn it and once it gets down here, it's going to be fantastic because I know I love the angel food cake scent, so this is going to be heaven. So love it and love how cute it is. And that is all the actual full-size candles that I got. Everything else is scent shots, so let me do that because I have a few of those to show you too. First one I have is Bear Claws. This is really good. This is more of a bakery scent, and it's cinnamony and kind of doughy and kind of nutty, and 
really really good it's not it's not too buttery you know I I've talked about this before I don't like the like really heavily buttery scents kind of like uh, caramelized pralines I know a lot of people love it but it, it's just too rich and buttery for me but this is good this is a nice balance of kind of spicy and uh, bakery okay next I have fresh cut grass and this is come out <laughs> this is so good I love this one I kind of wish I would have got a full size in this it smells like fresh cut grass but then sweet and it's so good I just love it it's so fresh it makes me think of the summertime and perfect love it all right and this one is orange caramel biscotti and this one's really good it's when I first smell it I definitely get a hit of orange but when you keep smelling it the deeper you smell it you you can smell the kind of bakery and just a light kind of note of caramel it's really really good I know it's gonna be really nice when I melt it then I have melon ball the color of this one is so pretty it's like a coral this one is like pure melon it's so good so it's kind of like honeydew and cantaloupe combined it's really fresh and really really nice all right now I have enchanted apple and that's a really pretty kind of crimson color this to me okay what does this smell like it's very it's definitely a like strong strong apple scent and it kind of reminds me of Bath and Body Works um, winter candy apple scent I don't know why but it's kind of that sweet apple scent so it's very nice then I have apple vanilla got a lot of apple scents <laughs> and this one is nice you can definitely smell a mix of the vanilla and the apple it's not strong on either side of that so it's kind of just a good mix of the two it's really nice it's not super strong but I like it all right a few more <laughs> this one is fruit your cares away and this one too is a pretty color this one is I can't put my finger on any single fruit in this but it's fruity and it's sweet and I think it kind of reminds me of the fruit salad scent but maybe not as creamy but it's nice it's definitely definitely summery and fruity then I have key lime pie this pretty much smells like a key lime pie you smell the uh, lime straight off the bat but then you get a crusty like graham cracker crust scent and a little bit of a creamy note so really nice all right, this is Whistlin' Dixie. And this one's really nice. It's definitely different. It's kind of, it's soft and, I don't know. It smells like being outside. It's like, it's so clean. It's, oh gosh, this is hard to describe. It's. A little bit vanilla and a little bit kind of like not quite laundry scent but just that really fresh scent this is very nice then I have copper tone and this one smells like exactly like the suntan lotion really nice if you like that scent you will love this because it's exact so love that definitely a summer scent okay this one is bouquet and let's see this is a really nice floral scent um, it's light it's not like hitching the face strong 
and it's kind of mellowed out with something sweet. I really, really like this one too. All right, another new one, Coconut Hibiscus. This one's really, really light and it's a little bit disappointing. Um, all I smell is coconut. I really don't smell a floral scent in this. To me, it's just coconut. I'm hoping when I melt it, maybe the flowery part will come out more. All right, this is Endless Love. I believe this is a dupe for something from Victoria's Secret. This is good. Um, oh Lord, I don't know how to describe this either. It just smells fresh and kind of flowery. I don't know what the original smells like, so I can't really tell you if it's exact or not, but it's nice. It's just kind of a, to me, it smells like a generic kind of like soap scent, but it's nice. I like that too. And okay, we're almost at the end. Um, this one is Forbidden Fantasy. Again, I think this is a Victoria's Secret dupe. This one is, mm, mm, this one is flowery. There's something in this I don't love. I don't know. Not my favorite. All right, this is Blackberry Amber. I think this is a Bath and Body Works dupe. This one I really, really like. It's, I can smell the amber and I can smell the blackberry, if you will, or that just a fruity note but it's really nice. It's definitely a balanced and like soft scent. I like that. All right, a few more guys. This one is green tea and cucumber. This one's really, really nice. It's, I smell the cucumber. And again, like I've said in the past, it's a sweet cucumber scent. And then it kind of smells like green tea to me, but not in like a yucky way. It's, it's just kind of um, mm, musky, maybe. Not really, but it's it's the, the cucumber and then kind of another note that's kind of sweet and musky. So I really like that. And Tropic Wind. I think this is a new one also. Love the color. That is a pretty blue. This one, I forget who said it. This, it smells like this, but it literally smells like you're outside on an island and like a tropical wind hits you. It's so fresh. It's definitely like pineapple and oranges and coconuts and all kinds of fruits that are tropical. Very, very good. I love it. And then the last one I have is pink and lime. Again, a very pretty colored one. This is a pink. I can't get it out. I love this one, y'all. Love, love, love. This may be one of my favorite scent shots from this order. It's lime and then it's something. I don't know what pink is supposed to smell like, but it's so fresh and like, maybe it's kind of like, I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't. It's just, it's lime, but it's not to the point where it's annoyingly lime. It's not like, it's not sour, let's say that. And then it's something sweet with it. It's so good. Really try this one. It's called Pink and Lime. I love it. And then my free scent shot, which is not really appropriate for the season, but I don't care, is Christmas Lane. And this one is so good. I'm going to have to order it or at least save it until Christmas next year. It's like cinnamony and I don't know. It's just mainly cinnamony, but it's really good. Actually, I kind of get a hint of apple in there too. It's very, very good. So that is my large haul from this time, and I hope you like it. As always, if you have any questions about the scents or her website, I'll do my best to answer you. And until next time, I'll see you later, guys.